And welcome back everyone for week 10 of the 2016 NFL season. Well, I went one and three with my ATS picks last week. You know, we're getting blocked field goals and kickoff returns for 98 yards for touchdowns against us. Like, God forbid that would ever happen for us. But the good news about that is that I'm only losing my games by half a point, two points, which means all my teaser plays are working. So we're gonna have a little bit of a surprise for you a little bit later on in this video, which is going to be short this week because I'm slammed at work. I won't be able to edit my video like I normally do. So let's get right to the picks. The first game we're gonna look at has the Kansas City Chiefs going to Carolina, where the Panthers are three point favorites at home. After their bye week, the Panthers have won two straight. They beat a, 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 an Arizona team that doesn't travel very well, however, and then they went into Los Angeles and, and beat a struggling Rams team. Now they get the Kansas City Chiefs, who actually won 16 out of their last 18 games straight up going back to last year. Very impressive. I'm not sure if Kansas City is going to win. I, I don't know if Carolina really has turned the corner yet, but I do like the point. So you know what? Let's take the Kansas City Chiefs plus three in that game. The second game we're going to look at has Atlanta going to Philadelphia, where the Eagles are one-point favorites at home. Now, the Eagles have struggled a bit. They've lost four of their last five games. Atlanta, meanwhile, is uh, playing very well. They, I still think they got, um, so they got that game in Seattle. They got robbed in that game. They should have actually won. Atlanta's one of the best teams in the NFL right now. No one is putting up more points than them. This probably is going to be a shootout, too. Uh, I think Atlanta's going to win this game. So, you know what? You get the point, uh, especially if her team coming off the Thursday night game. They've had a little bit more time to prepare. So let's take Atlanta plus one. The third game we're going to look at has the Houston Texans going to Jacksonville, where the Jaguars are one and a half point. Favorites at home, uh, it's one of those games where the road team is the division favorite, usually not very good, but you know, you don't lose all the time. Uh, Houston, uh, you'll see that they've lost all three of their games on the road, but they were in New England, in Minnesota when the Vikings were playing really well, and in Denver. I think every team would lose those three games. Jacksonville is not a very good team. Uh, I think it's a very small price to pay. So let's take the Houston Texans uh, minus one and a half in that game. And the fourth game we're gonna look at has Dallas going to Pittsburgh where the Steelers are two and a half point favorites at home. I always get the Steelers wrong. I think I've said that in my video, but I really like this game here. I think Ben Roethlisberger is still hurt. I'm not sure if he's 100% at all. And uh, no team is hotter in the NFL than Dallas right now. They won seven straight games. I think they'll win this game and you get two and a half points. So let's take the Dallas Cowboys minus two and a half. Um, my uh, let's take the man and bunny parley play we're only gonna have four games this this time we'll take kansas city plus three houston minus one and a half and we'll take atlanta and dallas on the money line a 25 dollars bet will get us 391 dollars and 95 cents i want to add in a teaser play like i said i've been losing my games by half a point uh two points uh, i get all my teaser plays and i know a lot of you have been asking me what what do you play so I have a six game, seven point teaser. We're gonna tease all the, all the games, seven points. We'll take Atlanta plus eight, Houston plus five and a half, New York Jets plus five and a half, Dallas plus nine and a half, Arizona uh, minus six, and New England minus half point, a $25 bet will get us $150. So good luck to you there. Uh, quick update on the Geo Nose uh, Awards. In the straight up pool, Bridgewater's Finest continues to lead with 84 followed behind uh, at 80 by Andrew Warren, so, and in the ATS pool, Half Moon's pick Stephen Coleman, my good buddy, has been on fire with his ATS picks, and he leads at 74, followed by Bridgewater at 70. Uh, am I forgetting something? Oh yes, here are my straight up picks for this week.
Okay, those are my picks for this week. Good luck to you. Uh, don't forget to join us on our Facebook page. Lots of good information there. We make plays right up until game time, so you can always check on, on uh, our latest plays. And a uh, quick shout out to you, America, for getting through your election. Whether or not you voted for the new president, it doesn't matter. It's time to, to unite and become that great nation that you are. Okay, for the Geo Knows YouTube channel, I am Geo. Let's take the man's money.